Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. In the last one, this uh, Satoshi dude gave us a mysterious case here, which we're not going to open yet. Because, quite frankly, it scares the shit out of me. But maybe we should. Or maybe not while he's watching. Let's take a look at his computers. All of these computers appear to be networked together. They're running completely unrecognizable streams of code. Okay. Oh, a little lag there. There wasn't anything else in his room. It's something down there, but nothing we can take. Okay. Maybe move on a bit. Nothing we can take here. There's something over there. Some ooze, some dollars, some scrap, and some a laser emitter junk. Okay. There's a container here. With a meat pies. How to make pies from scratch. Buy and love it. Junk. That's all. Okay. Well, I guess we'll uh, go in here. Take a look. Anyone in here? No. There's a booze box with some booze in it. Casa Regretti. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Meh. Alrighty. Then there's a door and apartment three. Let's try the door first. We'll save apartment three for last. Ooh, a toaster. Argon Lance, heavy machine gun. Sized and weighted like a heavy machine gun, but glowing and sappy like something from space. Requires big guns, five. Okay, Amosite energy cells. Oh, man, everything needs energy cells. Vissel mm. elastic plates, armor mod, legs. Uh, replacing standard armor plates with these lightweight polymer ones. Will allow for greater leg movement at the same level of protection. Asian plus six armor plus one. Nice. We'll take that. Container. Dollars and a big lighter. And I guess that's everything. All right. Before we go in there. I think we'll do a quick save. Alright, I think... we Okay, we need to lockpick this. Okay. Do you see anything? There's a container. There's a turret. Okay, so there's definitely something going on here. Do we have equipped what we want equipped? Let's just check that before we go in there. Um, let's see, usable items. I want you to have one of those. You're fine. I want you to have one of those. Mm. Oh, we, we need to open that case. I want to open that case and see what the hell's in it. Let's put a smoke grenade in your inventory. You need to have that because you're going to open it. Uh, yes, put a Molo co Molotov cocktail. Another Molotov cocktail. Uh, Yellow snowballs, they 
don't know. Let's see. Let's open this thing. The simple metal case vibrates with low hum. A metal latch is recessed on the top. Hmm. Are we really going to open it or are we not going to open it? Hmm. I really want to open it, but I probably shouldn't. But I really want to. But I really probably shouldn't. All right, let, let's not do it. We'll leave it. But it looks like we're going to be in combat here. So. Never know. No one must ever tell them. Herb clone. Wait, it's Dwayne is all of you! What the hell? Herb clone. So Do there you are know three where herb you are clones. Going to? Do you like the things that wife... What the frick is going on in here? Clone machine generator. So that would disable that. Then there are some... I... Can what, what are these? See my own cells. The world is ours, Josephine. Okay. Um. Eureka! The secret at last. Oh. Home again. Home again. Jug the jug the jug. Marshal Quan. God, the great. We saw something. Uh, Why sneaky shit level four? We don't do have sneaky compute. shit level four anywhere. Do we? I am a Skills. Sneak shit three. We don't. So we can't go further in than that. It seems. These molides do not compute. These oh. molides do not compute. What Lucia? Home oh, again, home again, jug the jug the jug. Eureka! The secret! And then Seuss. That uh, Seuss, he can Do stay you in the background. Going to? Do you Tessa wipe Higgs. the things that wife is showing you? I'm thinking that we shouldn't, probably shouldn't stand so close. These molines um. Do not compute. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You can't nice get in there. Funny cars. Maybe we can shoot What's the nitrogen tank or something. Why don't you tell that me my seems name? like a threat. What are these? They must never know. Things. No one must ever tell them. They must never know. No one. I, I don't get what's going them. on here. God, the greatest I really want to get in there though. But maybe I should wait until I get sneaky shit four. Let's wait until we get sneaky shit four. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll 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 come back later, uh, Rosie. Uh, because that seems dangerous, and I want to not trigger that thing. We should have checked how close he was to get sneaky shit for. Anyway, while we're loading here, I just want to say if you're enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying Wasteland 3, why not hit that like button? It really helps me out a lot and I do appreciate it a lot. Also, if you have comments, tips, tricks, anything, I'd love to, to see them. Please put them in the comment section. No. Uh, no spoilers though, please, because I am doing a blind playthrough. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know when new videos are coming out. All right, we're 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 gonna come back to Sans Lux. Is there anything else here? Dogs. 
don't see anything else here. There's the nightclub. Rago's Little Vegas. Let's do that. Nice music. Baron Brago employs a gang of machine gun wielding thugs to maintain order in his club. Cool. Alright, I like the music. Very cool. Do, do, do. Looks like a club for me. Just my kind of place. Rangers, this is Daisy. Sounds like you're at the Little Vegas, judging by all that noise in the background. Yep, we are. Remember, your first order of business is to find Delgado. Maybe somebody in there has seen him. Okay. <laughs> Those slot machines look like they're ready to pay out, though. While Understood. It, if you can prove that Brago made a deal with the Dorseys, feel free to take that bastard down. Best of luck, Rangers. Daisy out. Thanks, Daisy. Welcome to Little Vegas. Thank you. Uh, I want to see. Uh, so, who had the sneaky shit? You do. Marshal Quan. And how close are you to leveling up? Pretty close. Okay, good. Please, enjoy your time in our elegant establishment. Oh, well, we will. What's your favorite song? <laughs> Gotta be that. Sex Dwarf. It bops so hard. Oh. Sex Dwarf. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, disco bot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Can we talk to the disco bot? We can. The disco bot, a modified Octotron, equipped with speaker, speakers and lights, pumps out rock, rock and two. Present requests, Excuse party me. humans. Present requests, party humans. No request Enjoy right now. Party time. How low can you go? Nightclub enforcer, a computer. Patrons. Blackjack dealer, roulette coupe, slot machines. Can we do anything with that? Shakes. Flashing sign on the slot machine reads one dollar to play. Match three wins five dollars. Three million cowboys win the jackpot three hundred and fifty. Okay. Uh, Chin we open the front panels for each thing that works. That might not be a good idea. Put a dollar into the slot. Uh, yank the lever and watch as the machine swings to life. Did we win? No. Nightclub patron, nightclub patron. Hmm. I wouldn't mind jimmying it, but. Wait, where, where's that shakes guy? I'm so screwed. Okay. Like, totally. Poor little twitch head. The come down's a bitch, huh? What's the problem? You shouldn't do drugs. What's the problem? I went upstairs to get my sh shit out of the safe, but b b b Boulder and his mercs took my pants and kicked me out before I could get it. No fucking way I'm dealing with that asshole again. But I need that stash, or I'm dead. Can you help me? Hmm. Why are you dead without that I stash? I have a lot of money. I don't sell this shit, and they'll kill me. Okay. Uh, you're asking us to help get help you get drugs? Not my drugs. Other people's. Well, mostly. I got deliveries to make. Rhino and f Focus, five each. Hmm. Where is the shit here exactly? Up, 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 upstairs in the private room. Here's the combination. 
Just okay. watch out for b b Boulder. Okay. We'll take a look at that later, maybe. I love pit boss. Like you. I'm stuck with bored Gotta act tough. Gotta act tough. Okay. Oh. Did you know that? Saying it out loud kind of doesn't help, I think. You mean the robot? Charlie, yeah, yeah, my dad bartender. Bit, so we're like super close. Let's a take a uh, talk to Charlie. This man greets you with a smile, but his eyes dart about, never staying focused on your face. Your faces. He has a collection of pins and medals strewn across his chest. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Knows. Farron Brigo's capo, leader of men, hero capo. of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Hey. What's St. Elmo? Hmm. Tell us about the Battle ah, of Two Buttes. A tactical master stroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow gorge between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. I'm okay. quite sure there was never a Battle of Two Buttes, Mr. Nose. Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groans, the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. It, I, I have to agree with Lucia. What's St. Elmo? Not surprised you haven't heard of it. St. Elmo was lost to a fire years ago, sadly. But it was a thriving town before then. Thanks to old Charlie. Yep. Don't listen to a word old Charlie says, Rangers. He's the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. Nah, it sounds like it. <laughs> says the biggest bullshitter in Colorado Springs. Got a lot of titles, huh? All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. Kinda so what can doubt. Charlie do for you? We're looking for a man named Logato. What's your job around here? What can you tell us about Little Vegas? What do you, why do you call us Red Hats? What's with all the badges you're wearing? Why do you call us Red why Hats? Wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are? With your hats so red? Oh well. Can't help you if you're confused. What's your job around I'm here? The floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. And that they don't wander into the back rooms. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about Little Vegas? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City, but I never saw that place myself. If you want to talk to the man in charge, you'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. Okay. Um, what's with all the badges you're you wearing? see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. The Patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir, for saving his eldest son. Man, you should have seen the size of that snake. <laughs> okay. Nah, I don't really care about his badges, to be honest. We're looking for a man Delgado. named Delgado. What? Come on, Charlie, you remember Delgado. Nice guy, family man, way too good for the trash in this place. No way you could miss him. Oh, not like you, Marshall. You blend right in with the rest of us. You Sorry. Wait. I haven't seen him. Old Charlie would tell you if he had. Okay, so Charlie hasn't seen him. Can let us into I the back can. rooms? Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, okay. Mr. Brago doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brago's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him, not me. Okay. All right, goodbye. Till next time, Red Hats. <laughs> okay. So we guess I guess we're not going in there just yet. Um
So there's stairs there, and there's stairs there. Well, let's try these ones. Wanna buy me a drink with all that coin you're throwing around? Oh, honey, of course. What do you want? Rum and cola? Is this Adorable. just a club That's patron? We always Great have a time at Little Vegas. Factor. Even if I go I home with red I hot balls. Just like it. It's just like hellfire. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, so there's a gambling den in there, I guess. Okay, so prostitute, prostitute, Ken doll. <laughs> this man's face is a crosshatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you Hel approach. Oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Ken doll. <laughs> Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. Kendall. That's funny. Uh, Kendall? That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. He turns away hard-faced and one of his girls leans in. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo and they cut off his junk. Uh -huh. Smooth like a Kendall. Get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not interested in getting some sexy Delgado, time. Delgado, You know, that name sounds really familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do. Of course. Kendall, you predictable son of a bitch. How much money will it cost? I need serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. All right. Here you go. Shit! I knew I should have asked for more. All right. Don't tell anyone I told you. But Delgado was sniffing around the club, asking too many questions about the Dorseys. Last I saw, Charlie Knowles was pulling him into the back rooms behind the bar. Makes sense. God damn it. Now Daisy's going to want Brigo dead, and she won't take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bye. Well, we're going to check out the rooms back here. See I if there's anything. Giddy when you smile. Oh, okay. Ten of hearts. Oh, Quan, it's you. This is the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. She puts her hand to her chest the moment she sees Quan. <laughs> um, uh, hi, Ten. Good, good to see you. Quan is blushing like a rose. <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy you're back. I've missed you so much. Can, can you stay? Yeah, I, I'm uh, kind of on duty. Maybe uh, s some other time. <laughs> He looks at the rest of you. Yeah, unless you all want to take take a break for a while. Uh, you two seem to be old friends. Go on, go on. We'll show ourselves out, and it's on us, whatever it costs. Sure, but we want to uh, take a break with her. Oh, that's not very nice. No time for that now. Come back on your own time. You two seem to be old friends. friends. <laughs> well, I uh, hope we are. Of course we are, Quan. You are my dearest friend. My island of peace. I <laughs> still have to pay you, though. How real a friendship is that? It's as real as it can be. More real than it should be. You say that, but do you mean it? Let me prove it to you. Okay. And no... No time for that now. Come back on your sure. own time. Of course. Sorry, Tan. I guess I gotta go. Come back soon, Quan. I miss you. I hope you can stay. Oh, we can't right now. We are on a mission. Are you Whoa. Like you haven't earned the right. Well, that's definitely a dominatrix. Stand there and don't move, kitten. <laughs> I'm expecting you. The little clad woman crosses her legs and leans forward, her riding crop balanced on her knee. Hmm. You'll do. 
It costs money for my attention, pet. Pay, and I'll show you the joys of knowing your place. Uh, no thanks. Then you are dismissed. Let's take a look in her locker. Attention whores, tutu, sexy separates, chest armor. Are you looking at my boots? You're not just a dick. You haven't You're earned the set. right. <laughs> Garters and galoshes. All you need now is rubber sheets. We'll grab that. It looked like it was worth a lot of money. Right. On your hands and knees. Let's get out of her room. Jack of hearts. Hey, good looking. Ditch those zeros and get with this hero. From his pinky ring to his gold neck chain to his skin tight polyester pants, everything about this guy says he knows you can have whoever he wants, and he wants you. Cash up front. I may be easy, but I ain't cheap. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> You'll be back. Oh, was there anything else in there? No. All I want to do is look at you. Oh, sweetie. Everyone has nerves their first time. Let's try again. Slowly this time. Jesus. I... No, I know how to do it. I just... Don't feel like it right now. Hey, hey! Who the hell are you guys? NG Braddock. Sorry to burst in. Didn't mean to interrupt. We're having troubles? Pipsqueak. <clears throat> We're the Rangers. We'll take it from your kid. I... I don't need help. I just, I just changed my mind, and and now I'm leaving. Keep it up. Practice makes perfect. Uh... Bite me! I'm out of here. <laughs> Come back anytime, Benji. <laughs> School's always in session. The woman on the bed turns I to you. I know you like what you're looking at. This woman wears her age like a gift. Her red rose smile is conspiratorial, like something intended just for you. She uncrosses her re and recrosses her legs, drawing your attention south. And for a small fee, I'll show you things you had no idea you wanted. Her expression is hungry, full of confident expectation. Uh, no thanks. That's a shame. I've got a lot I could teach you. But do you have anything that we can take? That's what I'm most interested in. Want to sit with me? Jesus. Is there anything we can take in here? If not, I'm not going in there. There is. All right, I, I guess we're going. Even better bent over my knee. I was just warming up. Give me a second, I'll be right with you. At the side of you, the giant shirtless, remarkably. Her suit specimen of a man sets down his weights. He makes no secret of his interest, and he couldn't if he tried. The evidence bulges far too visibly. Cause money Jesus. to play with the king. What do you say? No thanks. Ah, and the king really needed a workout, too. Mm, workout tape and a road warrior. Blunt weapon. Nice. Oh. Hail to the king, baby. Time to get sweaty. You ready? Let's do this! Bicep Yeah! One, two, three, four, five, come on, get it! Seven, eight, nine, ten! Ah! Uh, ha! Feel the burn! Okay. Shoulder press! One, two, three, four, five, you know! Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Who's the king? You are. Twenty squats. Yeah. Come on. Put them glutes. Five, six, seven, eight. Just what the ladies ordered. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Buns of steel! 1920! Love yourself, baby! Yeah, that's what Disgusting. I'm talking about. Let's plank. Okay, so we have a disco bot ornament. 
vehicle upgrade. Hold on a minute. Dance fever enabled. Okay. And we have some focus. Brain candy. Bias smarts removes fried. Bias focus removes fried. And some bones. Bias sharp. Okay, we'll, we'll do everything. Now, this is just disturbing to me. This, uh. Is that a goat? I guess it's a goat. A goat leisurely paces this well decayed room. It appears even temperate and attractively rounded. A dried meat that trots up to you, a playful spring in its steps. Goat is wearing a bucket around its neck. Someone has stenciled Joker $10 onto the side of the pail. Uh, retreat hastily. No way. Man, that is just disturbing. Joker's wild. Deliveries. Customer satisfaction recording. Do you really want to hear this? No, I'm not, but I guess we're gonna. Some ammo, human teeth, a pocket dock, armor, chest armor. Armor plus one, healing bonus plus 10%. Nice. Is that a focusing crystal and remote control check? Oh, hi. Aren't you a sexy little thing? This, uh, this is my first time. So, how do we do this? Do I just... Oh, oh man. Whoa, okay. T t take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Uh, okay. Jesus. Oh, oh God! These stairs lead to Mr. Brago's lounge. He said I should let you guys through. Oh, good. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind you. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. Okay. What's so special about that, that computer? That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard it because it's broken, and there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Okay, what kind of trouble? Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Okay, that's well, good to know. Uh, maybe if a fight broke out I would, but nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place. Would they? Uh, hmm, you okay. Say I said any of this, sorry. Okay. At least to stop the customer satisfaction cassette. Ugh. So gaudy. So ostentatious. Nightclub pit boss, nightclub enforcer, quick draw, nightclub enforcer, excessive force, Baron Brago. Okay. Rangers, welcome to my club. Thanks. Looks Talk like a retard rodeo rolled in, and you is my gimp. Jesus Christ. D string theory. I wish I were a DNA helicase, so I could unzip your jeans. Jesus. All right. Well, we're going to talk to uh, Farron Brago in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.